turn this thing up about a volt and see if it's gonna make more bass or if that's just a myth. All right, you saw the Mechman alternator install. We got it all hooked up. And we basically proved that having a high output alternator helps a lot. So check it out, we're gonna take it to the next step. We got this Mechman AVBM2. We're gonna be able to turn the voltage up just a little bit. Nothing too out of control, nothing that's gonna hurt the batteries. Just like an extra volt, volt and a half. And let's see if it actually makes more power out of your amplifier. Now what this thing does is it connects to this harness that we've already kind of pulled apart and got it ready to go. It's gonna head right on into the firewall. This is gonna get hooked up and from the cabin, he'll be able to turn the knob and adjust the voltage on the fly. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna run the AMM1 on the speaker and see how much power we get out of it. All right, so the wires are kind of spaghetti-ish right now only because we're gonna test this out and then we're gonna run them really nice. So go ahead and start this. Let's see what this thing does. So I'm gonna turn this up. That's 15.3. All right, it seems to work really well, but does it make more power at the amplifier level just by turning the voltage up just a little bit? Let's run these wires really clean and find out. Looks like we're gonna have to extend this wire out just a little bit. It doesn't quite reach to the center console. So we'll solder up some wires, run them where they need to go, make them look good. All right, now the wire is long enough. So everything's soldered, heat shrunk, and now it'll reach all the way to the center console. All right, in the meantime, we whipped up a little piece so this has some place to go in the center console. All right, that's all done. Wiring is ran all nice and neat. As you can see, we're on the high side of 14.6 volts. Pretty standard. The AVBM is turned all the way down right now. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn this up. I wouldn't go much past 15.3 on a 12 volt battery. Matter of fact, the manufacturer might say not to go past about 14.8. So we already proved that you can get more power from your amplifier by having a big fat alternator pushing it. So let's see what happens when we turn the voltage up just a little bit. We're at 15.3 volts as opposed to 14.8. So it's just a little bit more. It's not even a full volt and uh, well, Let's see what kind of a difference it makes. Time to break out the SMD AMM1. All right, we got the screen removed off the speaker box. We're tapped into the wires. All right, so what he's gonna do, he's gonna put the deck on the exact same number that we used last time, the number right before distortion, and we're gonna let it rip, and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna have the AMM1 monitoring these speakers. We're gonna see just how much power it's pushing through a live speaker, which is a little bit different than a load bank. 
All right, go ahead, start the song over again. Let's go. Well into 1200 watts, man. Turn your beat up a little bit. That was pretty good. Let's put this thing into dyno mode. All right, do it one more time, bud. Okay. Woo, 1223 watts. God damn. I think that might be my first car audio myth confirmed. A little bit of extra voltage will give you more power, especially if you have the amperage in the alternator to back it up. Keep in mind that's a Rockford Fosgate Punch 1000 on two speakers. That's not on a load bank with, with a perfect one ohm. It's basically every time the speaker's moving, it's changing impedances the entire time. So having that kind of power on a speaker that's moving is really actually pretty substantial. It's pretty nice. Mechman alternator, Rockford Fosgate, excess power, more Engineering, SMD, you know how we do it.